Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. Last time, we took Mistrand, and the hordes of uh, Rune have uh, descended upon us, which is never fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we've really, really put the power down on um, on Rune, been pummeling them, and they really don't have that much left. Um, you know, we've done so much in three turns, uh, in three episodes. I know it's been thirty-one turns. We've actually done an absolute load in three episodes. It's it's kind of weird how much <laughs> how much we've done. I was not expecting it uh, to move this quickly, but we are defending in. Um, Austin Eri. And Austin Eri, I believe, has only the wooden walls. Which is never great, uh, defensively. Where Where is Austin Eri? There we are. Uh, or does it have the stone walls? I can't remember. But if it has the stone walls, we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it just had wooden walls when we assaulted it. So, let us fight the battle. And hopefully we'll win. It'll be quite a brutal battle, uh, I would assume. Because they have some good, good troops in there. Far Rune mercenaries. Some nice cavalry, but what we'll try and do is try and surround uh, their army and really pummel them in the back while we defend the gate. It doesn't show us what uh, siege equipment they have, but we shall see. So I'll see you on the uh, battle map, guys. Here we are. Let's start the deployment and let's have a look. It looks like they've just got one ram. <laughs> and I do want that ram to get to the wall, so... Uh, what about these guys? These guys have nothing, so they're going to have to go the whole way round. Um, so, yeah, let's get everyone in the uh, the town square. Everyone get in there so we can see what we're doing. And no way, my friend, you are going to fire from there. So you can hopefully fire into them. Now, Thorn Guard are going to be fantastic here with their spear wall situation going on. Um, on top of that, these Thorn Bladesmen are also going to be great with a shield wall inside of the spear wall. Uh, and these guys can also do a shield wall, so we'll get them there. Um, ideally, we kind of want to let them in. You know, let them try and fight their way through. And then it'll just be a bloody scrap for the rest of it. Um, so let's go for that. Why was there a dog bark then? That, that wasn't my dog bark barking guys because i don't have a dog <laughs> but i've never heard that before why was there a dog bark there we'll get these guys behind to fire their javis um the sword masters can come this side as well and then archers i'm thinking you know these guys don't have the best range so mm, we'll probably get them back here so they can fire into them as they're in that blob now in terms of the rest of the men, we have some Avari warriors. Who else do we have over here? And the Privateer Axemen. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and get them around. Once they've, uh, pretty much most of the time, once they've sieged down the uh, the gates, that sort of thing, they like to, uh, like to blob in. So we'll get these guys over here. What we're also going to do is get these guys near these towers because... I'm pretty sure it's still the case. You need to be near the tower in Medieval 2 for it to fire. And when these guys are running around, we'll just, you know, keep on going. So, near these towers so that they'll, uh, you know, get shredded, <laughs> which will be quite funny. Uh, and then the rest of the cavalry, these guys are going to come out this way. And they're going to do as much damage as they can if they will fit in over here somewhere. Get there, maybe. Come on, Pathing. You can do it. Nope, apparently you can't. Come on! There we are. Right, I think that's everyone. So I think we're going to be okay. Um, yeah, the dogs the dogs are barking. I don't know why. You know, we might burn the ram down as well. That's a good, that's a good point as well. So these guys should be able to fire at the Far Rune Mercenaries. Don't actually know where they're going. Where are they going? Okay, they're bringing the ram from back there. I don't know where these guys are going, though. They're just allowing themselves to be shot right now, which is great. And then if they get in range, they'll start getting shot by the towers. Yeah, the towers are firing. 
So, well done, AI. Fantastic tactics once again. Look how many rams they've got. They've got loads of rams. But as soon as that gate is knocked down, what they will end up doing is just, you know, absolutely trying to hoard their way in. They'll just blob. So let's have a look over here. These guys aren't even moving. So we'll speed it up. They might even run out of time. I do have the battle timer on just because, you know, sometimes the AI will completely bug out. No way. Let's fire at these guys. They're, they're qu not quite a good enough target. So this allows us to fire at these Faroon mercenaries quite nicely. Uh, they've not fired at the ram just yet. Curses. The enemy are so let's fire at these ones. We've, we've whittled down both of those Faroon mercenaries quite nicely. Now my swordmasters are taking a bit of a battering. But what's going to happen now is they're going to absolutely charge in. Those javies don't need to be fired yet. We've just wasted a load of javies there. And here they come. Absolutely blobbing. They're going to blob completely in. Now, these guys, who would I prefer to be fired at? Probably the dragon riders. So let's come around this way. And we'll get our cavalry out. We might actually get charged by the dragon riders now. And then these guys, we'll group them up. And we'll group up you boys. These guys can come out as well. And we're going to go round and try and flank as quickly as possible. Now you can see they're firing in there, which is really nice. Fire into that blob if you can, boys. They've not got that much ammo left. Now you guys can fire. Looks like they can just try and get through. <laughs> you guys get in. That shield wall's not holding very well, boys, is it? If someone can just run through. I'm not going to lie. Bit embarrassing. Bit embarrassing. Right, you guys round. Dragon Riders are over there. Let's keep moving along. These boys, let's get them round all the way to here. The Moriquendi Sentinels, when they've finished firing, look at that. They've got their whole army in that blob there. That is so nice for us. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, literally everyone apart from this second trashy army around this way. And they should still be being shot at. Uh, come on, boys. Let's go. We need to surround them. And then, basically, when they run away, they will just be all dead. <laughs> so, we're going to get our cavalry out here. They'll be there to charge down the enemy as well. That's always a good option. Oh, look at that. That is glorious. Let's get our Amanyar. <laughs> I said it again. Let's get our Swordmasters in here. Guys, what are you doing? Oh, sometimes the pathing in Med 2, huh? Always fantastic. I love the pathing. So let's get these guys. Already the general's dead. Wow. Get over there, boys. Ideally, I wouldn't get a couple of charges in. But the charges, to be fair, through the gate don't often do that that well. It's more the uh, the infantry coming in the back. So let's go for a charge anyway. The ram's going to be slightly in the way. So maybe come over here first. Come on, boys. Speed it up. Oh, that is that is jerky. Why is it so jerky, bro? I haven't got any other things running on the computer apart from the internet and my recording software. Well, let's get that charge in there. Should hopefully scare them a little bit. But that's a big charge. Now it's time to go. I'm going to get the Privateer Axeman in there first. And these guys can kind of... Uh, you know, deal with the second army that's coming. Uh, ideally, I want you back up here. So that all these towers are firing on them. How are all these guys doing? They've taken a bit of a battering. But the Privateer Axemen should really, you know, start to bring the hammer down on them now. Push through, boys. Push through. Then fight the Dragon Guard. We'll bring our elves in now. Nice. And what I think we'll do... Yeah, keep on firing, Moriquendi Sentinels. Don't need you guys in there. We don't need you guys in there either. Uh, and we'll try and deal with this uh, Dragon Riders. Look how many, how, look how few men they have left now. So you guys just get there. Uh, no, you guys fight. Come on. And once they're done, we'll get the Moriquendi Sentinels in this fight as well. 
That is no orc horn. I love saying that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> If you get round the siege tower and then start firing, fighting them from this side, I'm sure they'll start wavering away. Well done, AI. Some fantastic tactics we have seen here once again today. <laughs> Come on, Sentinels. Light of Elrath. The Sentinels should be good. Hopefully, no way doesn't die. That is my main concern here, that no way dies. As soon as one of these guys starts routing, though, I believe, you know, it's going to be a bit of a route party. Oh, hello. Let's get into the tribesmen. I didn't realize they were this far behind. Oh, nice little charge there from some of them, anyway. And now let's get out. Why do some of them just do that where they don't charge? And they just stand there. See what, like, let's see whether they'll actually charge this time. The ones at the back, like, what are those guys doing? Oh, that was a fantastic... See, these guys, like, why are they just there? Oh, this looks brutal. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Let's get them. Let's get them. We just took a bit of a dam damage from that uh, dragon rider. Well, let's go. See, what are these guys doing now? It seems to be one or the other. Half the enemy force remains. Hopefully, we can just fully destroy this. Let's go kill the crossbowmen. Fight those dragon riders. That should have been a fantastic charge. Yep. Another general dead. Fantastic. They should die. They should run away now, surely. Come on, boys. Let's get out. Get it on normal speed. In terms of how many have died, yeah, 97%, boys. I think we can end the battle there. 97%. Oh, my God. That was just brutal, brutal, brutal. Well, you can see we killed 1,600. We captured 300. I think, you know, the walls probably did about 300 damage there, which is just insane. The Sentinels, 300 kills. <laughs> that is obscene, guys. That is fantastic. And, uh, you know, the Privateer Axemen did really well as well. So did a lot of these guys. The Darwinian Infantry, the Thorn Guard. Got a bit of casualties healed. Swordmasters. The Avari Warriors got some nice... Uh, oh, no. They didn't get many healed, but... That's okay. Some great results there. Fantastic. Well, that is a great way to start the uh, episode anyway. So I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And let's execute them once again. And fantastic. Austin Airy has been taken. Oh, glorious, glorious, glorious. I think that will allow us to go to Viltor quite quickly. And while we're, you know, while we're in Viltor, what we can do then is, you know, get a few reinforcements, go and retrain a few of the men. Uh, just leave one person in Austin Airy, of course. Uh, this guy potentially... Uh, I don't know. We could leave the Vineyard Bowman. How upset are you? Very, very, very upset. But I think once these guys are in, we should be fine. Uh, and the wall actually doesn't need uh, need repairing anymore, which is great. So let's come up towards Vilta. Let's get a nice little watchtower in there. And yeah, got no money, but that's fine. <laughs> We don't need money when we're taking all these settlements. We'll take, we'll get the money in the future, won't we? So, yeah. Not a problem. Not a problem. And we'll get our vineyard bowmen over here to join up with Norway as well. Which is cool. And, yeah. Mistrand is still fine. I don't know. I don't know what Jarsur is doing. Why is he bugged out? I was hoping he'd come and attack us, but he's just standing there. Do we have to go and just fight him? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so keep coming around here. We know that uh, Mataram is up there. But isn't there another one? We'll just check. And then we'll go into uh, Mordor as well. There's Wintirian Yar. So is this... This Erland's Ferry is still rebel. So I do want to take that ideally if, uh, you know, Dale doesn't get there first. Oh, they've blockaded Karasant. 
That's never great. That's never a great situation where they're blockading your capital, but... Okay, we'll take it. Uh, and then we're going to stay... Yeah, we're going to keep on coming up this way with this guy. Uh, have a look for the settlement over this way. And I can't remember exactly where it is. That's the problem. So that's Lathaur. That's Lathaur as well. Nice. Store. What a man. Look at him. Hello. <laughs> Looks like a slug. <laughs> Looks like a little potato with that on his head. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so we got the uh, elven choice very early. But we just didn't put the infrastructure in place in order to recruit the elves. So, you know. I really don't want to go and attack that army. I think we'll... I'm pretty sure we'd get beaten. Especially with the lack of cavalry versus the amount of cavalry they have. We've all seen how powerful cavalry is in this. So we'll still try and keep... We'll keep baiting them there. Um, I'm happy for Norway to try and take uh, uh, Viltor. And, you know, at that point get some reinforcements from over here. I think we'll go for some more Thorn Blazemen. You know, the Thorn Blazemen are not amazing. But they're not bad either, you know. They're, they're a solid sword and board unit, especially with a bit of armor and experience when we can get, you know, a blacksmith on with them and that sort of thing. That'll be great. But as episode four goes, it's going going quite well, isn't it, guys? At this rate, we'll be uh, done with the campaign by episode 10. Uh, probably not. But, you know, I normally aim for 30 episodes for my for my campaigns. Um, the RAS one is, is going to go on for a little bit longer. And... Yeah, definitely. You know, we won't be done by episode 30, but that's, you know, a lot slower ga ga gameplay. You're not cranking through turns so much, especially when we have, I can't remember how many settlements we have now, but it's like way more than 100. It's like 100 and more than 150, I believe. Right. I'm hoping this. Oh, not quite. Not quite. But maybe one more turn of rioting and they'll be okay. Right, no way. Let's uh, get going up to Vilter. Doesn't look like they have much there, which is fantastic for us. We'll go down to join Norway. Uh, Karasant. So ideally now we want the Lord's Hall in uh, Saint Anouy. We just can't afford it. So we're going we're gonna to chuck it in there anyway. And probably going to get another Thorn Rider. This army does have a decent amount of cav though. But it's always good to get more cav and maybe another thorn guard as well. They're quite a decent unit, the thorn guard. You know, they solid in defense, not good in a, of, uh, offense, but solid at defending against some of these uh, some of these units we've been playing and fighting against. Uh, did we build the standing stones? We did. Fantastic. That's great. How about in Lest? No, we haven't yet. So I would like to build that as well, but the two thousand. 500 is going to be more important building the Lord's Hall. So let's keep coming down this way. Can we actually... We can actually go around there. So that's... That is still Mordor. So this is Steps of the Wayne Riders. Oh, this is all Step of the Wayne Riders. So I think that will be canned down there. But it, it's worth checking out just to make sure. Uh, so we found Winterian Yar. Now Condovan is, is up in the middle of here. So we want to just find where it is. So we know where it is when we're going attacking. We don't want to be wandering around and then get, you know, taken out by Dale or, you know, the, uh, foot stepped on by Dale. What is Jasur doing? <laughs> Come on, Jasur. You have a fantastic army. Come and attack us. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, it's a bit annoying that he won't. <laughs> he won't come down, but that's fine. Oh, there's Logarth. That's, that's good. We found Logarth. I think that's that whole region over there. And potentially Dolgador have the other region, the other side of the river. But I guess we'll we'll see. We'll see. We can follow the road on that one. That might be Burr Southis. So, yeah. Ah, finally! Jasa, thank you. We might have a couple of defensive sieges in this battle. One thing to remember, guys, is if the AI doesn't assault you on the first turn, that's fine. The AI doesn't actually build any, um, any siege equipment on the first turn at all. So... Don't worry about that at all. Anduin is faltering. Oh, no. Anduin is dying. No. How is Austin Airy doing now? Still 65%. Well, the meeting hall will give that extra 5% of law, but it's going to take two turns. Oh, they've gone up to 70% there straight away. So that should really help. 
What have we got? Q stalled here. Ah, uh, we didn't have enough for the 2,500 because we've recruited some men. That makes sense. Austin Airy got the, uh, the standing stones as well. That will definitely help with the uh, public order over time. We've got another Thorn Guard. Uh, right, let's have a look on the other side of here. So this... Oh no, the Burnt Lands is still not taken. Burst South is not taken by Dolgador. So we've got a nice, you know, cushion over this side. Uh, to worry about... Not to worry about Dolgador. So we'll keep on coming north. See whether they've taken a Brown Boat over that way. The greatest settlement in the whole of the game, of course. Um, but yeah, Santan we. Uh, once we get that Thorn Rider, we'll get these guys out going towards Viltor as well. So, it's only wooden walls, which is fantastic. A lot easier to siege down. And uh, we'll get those guys in there. Mornethel over here. Burr Emerikis. It's good. Lest. Happy and Lest. Good. Uh, I think we're good. So, let's press the end turn. I've said good about... I've said good a good amount of times there. <laughs> Um, yeah, is this still Step of the Wayne Riders? It is. So, I think, yeah. Once we're down here, we're into the back of Mordor, and Mordor will die quite quickly. So, yeah, we're, we're doing this quite severely fast, honestly. <laughs> There's Dale. Why don't you take this, you know, Erland's Ferry before going after uh, Wintirian Ra uh, Yar, friends? We'll keep a lookout up here anyway. So, Dale does have... Gazar Uyil up here, which is about there. Um, but yeah, I, I want this one. Erlen's Ferry. They can go and fight Dolgador. We've been fighting Rune. They can fight Dolgador. So that's fine. Let's press the end turn again. Nice. Principality of Dol Amroth. Ah, and we're literally, as I'm recording this, two minutes away from the first episode premiering, so... <laughs> I'll have a look at a few of the comments on there as well while we're doing it. So, you know, if you hear me go silent for a second or two, that'll be because uh, I'm watching the uh, the premiere as well, making sure that everyone uh, is get the comments. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes with the uh, the comments on the premieres, uh, people think that it's live, so they ask questions and that sort of thing. When it's it's actually not live. <laughs> Erid Lewin rejects a gift. Okay, that's fine. Angmar's might. The iron crown of Angmar still casts a pall of awful shadow and mist in the lands about the fell peaks and spines of Karndum. Angmar always does really well. I think they're fantastic. They really are a fantastic, um, you know, nation, Angmar. What I might do here is auto-resolve this, guys. That's their faction leader now as well. That sh... <laughs> oh, that is why you don't auto-resolve, Zach. That is why you don't auto-resolve. Did you see the ratio then that we had? We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. Wow. Back from the walls. Well, what I'll do is I'll take Norway and the mercenaries. They released our prisoners. Well, thank you. <laughs> and these guys. So we'll get these guys moving now. We'll take them. We'll take Norway and them back to Viltor and try and capture it. And then... Whoa! Whoa! Why is that so loud? So I am really sorry about that, guys. That that was my fault. That was actually the premier playing its music. <laughs> So I'm sorry if I burst any eardrums there, but it certainly burst mine. So <laughs> that's a bit of penance for me anyway. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, we'll take a few units down there. We'll retrain the rest in Santan. We, we are starting to build the Lord's Hall now. So once that's done, we should be able to start getting some nice elven troops in there. And maybe, yeah, we might get siege down at Mistran this turn, which will be fantastic. Yes, very good. I'm going to turn that music, in fact, up all the way to 100 so you guys can hear it. Because it is really nice. And I know it's not the Lord of the Rings music. But, of course, that is because of copyright reasons. Uh, like we've talked about before. 
So let's have a look. Try and find Condovan. There it is. So we'll watch Condovan just to make sure that Dale doesn't take it. In terms of our other guys, you keep coming down. Okay, so that is Karned over there. So then let's let's go into Mordor. Go down all the way to Barador. Uh, go down. And there is a couple of settlements on the way, isn't there? So, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be there. Right. Let's have a look. I think we're good. Again. Good, good, good. Always saying good. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's get that spy up that way. I am really sorry about that, guys. That's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> but, yeah. Nice. So, let us keep on going. Jasser, here he is. Big Jasser. He's not the faction leader yet. Now we can actually properly see the army. Got all the Daratai warriors. We've got the Lok flag rim. Got the Lok Inas rim, which is a fantastic cavalry unit. And the Lok Nar rim, which are a really nice archer unit indeed. Uh, you know, the rest, of the, the rest of the army is these dragon guard, the warriors, and the tribesmen. We're fine. But they've got so many different um, siege equipments here. What I might do is sacrifice my cavalry, my Thorn Riders, to, to just try and destroy them. It does game the AI slightly so that we can funnel them in through the gate rather than them getting up on the walls. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, the poor AI won't know what to do, but that's good for us. So I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. They've chosen a bit of a misty morning. Uh, and we are going to just get the Thorn Riders out. And if these are, you know, if these are Ballista Towers, that'll be awesome for us. Oh, come on, Pathing. You know you want the horse in here. Come on. Really? Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh, come on. Just just fit in here, surely. Oh, they're only there, so that's fine. Right, the rest of them, apart from the Thorn uh, Riders. Let's get them all into Town Square again. We'll probably use the Avari Naharim. Naharim. Quite similar to the Thorn Riders, but oh, that gate's miles away. This is a massive city, isn't it? I don't think this is a custom settlement, but it's got that feel, hasn't it? You would go anywhere around here, guys. That would be awesome. <laughs> I guess they won't fit anywhere. Come on. Get in there. Oh, well. Right then. We'll get our Athel here up here. We'll get our crossbowmen across this way as well. Um, like I say, I'm not too worried about them assaulting the walls. But I will leave, say, the Swordmasters up there. And the other sword masters down here. Because they're not so good in defense. Just in case a couple of the ladders do get to the walls. So let's uh, group everyone that's on the walls right now. Uh, yeah, you guys. Oh, this is annoying. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm being a bit stupid right now, aren't I? Group all those guys up. So that'll show us what we have left. Now, you're on the walls already. You should be part of this group. Uh, fourth win. We'll try and save fourth win just in case. And the Thorn Guard are going to be the boys that we uh, use the most of again. Really, really nice defensive unit. I know their attack's only three. Uh, but yeah. Once we're... I'll just get there. Once, once we're in the actual battle, these guys will be able to maneuver a bit better. Just... Get in somewhere. There we are. Get these guys on shield wall. They can, again, go around the side. If they get there. Uh, yeah, and we get the vineyard levies. You can actually just stay in the town square. And then these two thorn guard will get one over this way. If we get you in shield wall, you should be able to path a bit better. And these guys over this side, you can path a bit better as well. So let's go. Start the battle. And we'll also get the uh, Naharim. Let's get you out. Oh, who are you? Oh, these guys. Yeah, these guys are good. So what we'll do, we'll get them forward just in case. They don't need to run too much. And what we do now, guys, is just basically charge that dragon. Uh, actually, we'll charge these local Rim over here. 
can see. Oh, it is a ballista. That is fantastic. Where's my Avari Nahar him? Oh, God, they're so slow. Come on, boys. I need you to attack these guys because they are only Dragon Guard, which is good for us. But we need to get these guys before they get to the walls with the ladders so that they run away. And then the Siege Towers will probably break anyway, but we'll charge them just in case anyway. So then they're only getting, you know, just the battering ram to the walls. That Siege Tower's only taken 5% damage. I don't think it's going to get there anyway, though. Get them out. They will... These uh, Thorn Riders will be, uh, you know, a bit, unfortunately, you know, they will be uh, destroyed. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to have to just try and charge through these Daratai warriors to get to this Lope Flag Rim. Just get through, boys. You're going to lose a load of men. It's not a problem. I just need a couple of you to survive. If you run, that would help. Go after this Lope Flag Rim. Yeah. Just just touching them will stop them from getting to the walls. So just these, whatever, four units that are left will stop them getting to the walls there. Unfortunately... These guys are going to make it to the walls, but maybe not if we're uh, if we're quick here. Maybe not. And then it'll just be the ramps. Okay, they're going back after these ladders. Which is fine. Fire at the dragon guards. You guys. In fact, no. Fire at the lope flag rim. They're really good. Now out. Now out. You guys. Ideally over this way. You guys can just hang around and make sure they don't pick the siege towers and the ladders back up. This ladder, unfortunately, is uh, going to destroy it. It's going to get up the wall. But that's, you know, okay. This siege tower, I don't believe, is going to survive. Surely not. So, all they will have left is just ramps. Which is great for us. Uh, so, yeah. We'll use Avalyn. We'll come around this way. Uh, yeah, that siege tower, there's no chance that's going to survive. This ladder's going to be a bit of a problem. So, we might have to get these guys up on the walls. Or the other... Yeah, swordmasters, potentially. In fact, what we'll do, we'll bring these guys around. The Lope Flag Rim is just so good, it's going to be a bit of a problem. That siege tower surely is not going to get near the walls. Um... Uh, yeah, our crossbows are firing well, which is good. Fire at the Lope Flag Rim over here as well. Yeah, that's 82% destroyed. Uh, so where are these guys? It's a bit of a, a bit of a cheap tactic, of course, but you know you got to use what what's at your disposal. And that siege tower is going to die very soon. Uh, you guys, you are armor piercing, so firing at an armored unit is always great. You're not quite armor-piercing, so... I don't think you are, anyway. You're just a ranger unit, so fire at the Lokinas Rim. Make sure all these guys are on, on that mode. These guys might have found someone that they can actually fight, which would be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get up onto the walls, go and fight them. I don't know which wall you're going to go up from. That's fine. And we need to get these guys, you know, ready to receive the enemy. So, get there. The one problem we might have is these these ones are so close. These doors. So, they might actually, you know, go for the doors. They have got their, you know, their ladder up on the walls now. So, they might just go for that ladder. So, what I'm going to do, get these uh, sword masters down. You guys need to get up here to fight this Lope Flag Rim. Now, this is what they're going to do. It looks like they're going to just keep going for the ladder. They've only they've already lost. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think they, they, they're they going to destroy the ladders, aren't they? The ballista, which is fantastic. Where's Avalyn? Okay, he's over here. Let's go. Get out of the way. These guys are better than us. So, we're going to run away. Glad I left them on skirmish mode. And we're going to come back into the city with Avalyn if we can. It's very misty out here today. So now the AI just doesn't know what to do. And I feel a little bit cheap. A little bit cheap for this, but... Oh well, what, <laughs> what can you do? 
trying to exploit the game as much as possible ish. I don't want to exploit it too much. And it feels a little bit cheap now, but they still have all the they still have this siege tower which probably would reach the walls. They still have these ladders. They still have two rams at the back as well, if not three. No, I think it's just two. They still have all the equipment available to them. They just don't you know, they don't want to use it very well. That's not my fault, is it? <laughs> so how many have they lost? 31%. Obviously, we need to get it past 85. The only people still firing now are the uh, are the uh, crossbowmen. I would like the crossbowmen to be able to fire into those cavalry. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring them up there. And hopefully, they'll be able to reach then. These guys are done, so let's get you back to the city. Because you're not going to be useful in melee anyway. Where's Avalyn now? Um, yeah, we'll leave him outside the city for now. Just go over there. And hopefully you don't get shot by the enemy. These crossbowmen can't quite reach across there. So, yeah, just keep firing into, like, the Loknar Rim. Or, yeah, the Loknar Rim over there would probably be the best option for you. Keep firing at the Lokinas Rim, boys. No, the Lokinas Rim, like I said. Please. <laughs> uh, yeah, and these guys are going to then fight this big blob. They're still not using that extra ladder. No one wants to. Uh, these crossbowmen. Uh, now you're here. Yeah, fire into there. Because they are the most dangerous unit they have over there by far. So let's keep on going. So, let's get up. Get up onto the walls. Very nice indeed. And then you can fight there as well. Ah, oh, well, what a glorious siege, huh? If we put it on six, is it going to start... See, it's not... It's not breaking now when I put it on six times, which is good. Oh, Avalyn! Shit! Shit, 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 shit. That is not what we wanted. They were on skirmish mode, so I don't know how that happened. But, Avalyn, let's get you in. Just keep you safe. You are our best general. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I thought that was our general. I thought that was Avalyn dead then. I was going to cry. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, not quite. Not quite. So, these guys are firing at that Lokinas Rim. Good. Keep firing. And we've just got to defeat... Oh, these guys are all broken and uh, fighting to the death, so... Get the Swordmasters in there. And you can see the uh, the Ballista Towers are just firing. Right, guys. What I'm going to probably do is cut it here because we don't need to do anything else. We're just holding this bit uh, until they actually start doing something. The rest of them are all just stood around the city doing this. Okay. Here we are. Dragon Guard are coming back across to maybe pick up that. So... You know, we don't want the Athala Rangers in there. What we'll do is get this guy because they're, uh, they should be quite a good unit to fight against the Dragon Guard. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll cut it here, guys, anyway, so you can see uh, how it ends up. Slash, you know, it might run the whole timer out, this battle, because I don't know what the AI is doing right now. But this is not exactly intelligent, is it? So... <laughs> I'll see you in a sec, guys. So, I've sat here for another <laughs> 10 minutes, guys, and they did nothing. Look, they had two rams left. They had a siege tower left, and they both they had both the ladders. And this ladder was still up against the walls, and they just stood outside. I don't know why. Maybe next time we'll destroy less siege equipment, but I feel a little bit dirty after that. I'm not going to lie. Just a little bit. I don't feel too bad. About them, they got a free elite army, so I don't feel too bad, but yeah, kind of crazy. We killed about 300 with the Ballista Tower, so it wasn't even that many. Uh, actually, no, it, it, it was, look. So what's 200, say, you know, 400-ish. Say we killed about 550-ish, and if we look at the battle results again, they actually lost 1,000... 300 so the, the, the Ballista Towers killed a lot. That is how powerful they are in this game guys But anyway, we'll see you back on the campaign map and we might take the fight to them now Here we are guys and of course we are going to execute all these captured uh, were captured by Avalyn 
So let's execute them. I don't know where they've retreated to, but I don't think they um, they will have survived. Uh, sorry, they will have died. You know, there was still half of the army left. So, you know, I don't think they, uh, they've they died, but we should probably press the attack now and rather, rather than waiting. The problem is Mistrand will be very unhappy, so we need to kind of uh, balance it slightly. Oh, it looks like uh, Dolgador has taken Brown Boat, otherwise known as Tustore. <laughs> I didn't realize it was called Tustore in this uh, in this uh, version of the mod. Meeting Hall. Yeah, they didn't die because they, they didn't lose their baggage train. But is that... Is that the rest of their army there now? Because I thought they had more left than that. Um, well, interesting anyway. So what, we, what we're what we going to do is we're going to take fourth win with a couple of the Thorn Guards. Probably the Thorn Riders. And probably these... Yeah, there's no missile troops in this. But we might... Yeah, we might take that army and let's see whether there's any you know we'll get the mercenary cavalry for these guys we'll take the privateer cavalry oh, we could get the cell swords as well they're so good aren't they <sighs> just because we want to be fast still we want to keep on going and then we'll go after them up here now let's have a look at what we can do about this army oh the music is quite loud now but I think it's about the right level. You guys can still hear me, can't you? Let's leave Mistrand. It's only 50%. What if we add in the Vineyard Levies as well? 55. Not quite good enough, is it? Yes. Could leave Athel here and there, but he's... Actually, you know what? We'll leave a crossbowman. 60% still. Uh, there's nothing in here that's going to improve it too much. What about leaving some of the guys at Lest? Uh, if we just come out of Lest, yeah. I think that'll be okay. And let's see what we can build to make them happier. That doesn't take a huge amount of time. Everything's four turns or above over here, which is not good. Apart from the chicken farming, but that doesn't make happiness. I think the tomb... Let's go for the tomb, and then with this extra unit, I think we'll be okay. We don't quite have enough now to get any more mercenaries. But what is in there? Yeah, that must be what was left. So that's just absolutely savage them. I've, yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad about that. Jesus. Uh, but, you know, the AI was just so dumb. It could have, It could have easily taken out... You know, he could have easily kept on trying, but they just stood outside the walls, and I wasn't going to go out and fight the rest of them. I just let the ballista towers do the uh, do the work. <laughs> um, but you know, so let's get Norway out here. Let's also get the privateer cavalry, the axemen, and the Rovanian riders because they're all mercenaries. Get you guys into there as well. So we've got a load of cavalry in this army. Not great for assaulting walls. Uh, anyone else like? Yeah, we'll take the Vineyard Bowmen as well. We don't need to send them back for retraining. These boys can go back for retraining as well. And we're starting to make a little bit more cash now. And you can see we're actually starting to trade with Dale, which is great. But that was, that was brutal, wasn't it, that battle? Wow. Poor, poor AI. Just had no idea what to do. Stood outside the city. <laughs> what a dumbo. What an absolute dumbo. That's all I'm going to say. Um, you know, I don't think we can be blamed for that. You know, the AI being that dumb. Um, they still had loads of siege equipment left. They just didn't want to use it. So, very strange. But, anyway, Dale's not going to have to Condovan just yet. And that Gazar Ibar is still rebel. So, that's good for us. I'm hoping fourth win, you know, can do a decent job. I don't think they've got many garrisons up here. Uh, maybe at Rubar. Uh, but this is really going to catapult our economy once we've taken these. You can see they have a port. And it looks like, because it's trading already, they probably do have a port at Rubar as well. Yeah, they do have another port there. Um, doesn't look like uh, Wintirian Rar Yar does, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's keep on going then, guys. I mean, that is punishment for us getting destroyed by the auto-resolve <laughs> for Viltor over here. 
We got ruined by that auto-resolve. For no reason as well. So that shows you why you shouldn't auto-resolve, I guess. There's Dars Gurum. I believe that is that's that's a new city, isn't it? I believe. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it is. But once we're in the back of Mordor, like they they don't know what to do. Like they, they won't have any defenses on this side. So we'll be good. Ah, uh, they're coming after Lest once again. Ah, uh, you know, if we lose Lest, that's not not an issue. And I'm hoping that was their only scripted um army. Four turns in, guys. We've nearly taken them out. <laughs> Poor Rune. I guess this is quite an easy campaign. When you compare it to, you know, Goblins of Moria, Dunedain, um, Gundabad, Erebor, they're all quite difficult campaigns. Um, Dol Amroth, of course. But yeah, this this is an, this is look, seems quite an easy one. And I promise you, we're on very hard, very hard as well. So, right, let's have a look at what we're down to 60% again. Let's get all these in front. It's going to cost us most of our money. But I'm hoping this guy can sort it out. Yes, yeah, 70%. Fantastic. Now, we'll take it slow. Ooh, they have really tempted us there, haven't they? Oh, they have some Udegi Marines. I love that unit. It's a really cool unit. Now, this battle, I really want to auto-resolve it. But <laughs> I'm not going to, though. I'm not going to. They only have one Loknar Rim. Um, so I guess we'll, we'll fight both of them. We'll go for Elgair first. Oh, we have Throde here up here as well. So Throde here. Let us get you down here. What units are in this army? Oh, they actually have a general over this way. So we might need to recruit, I'm thinking, a thorn, a couple of thorn bladesmen. We'll pick them up with Throde here. And hopefully they won't have taken Lest by then. And if they have, we'll just siege it down. The vineyard levies are not going to be fantastic in this uh, situation. Um, but yeah, cool. So, did we want more? We wanted some more cavalry with our other army, didn't we? So, Vilta, we're not going to... Of course, we're going to play these battles now. <laughs> these siege battles after what happened before. <laughs> so, yeah, we want a Romanian rider over here. I'm willing to pay some money for that, for some extra cavalry. But let's uh, go for Elgair first. How long is that? Two turns. I'm willing to just kind of wait them out, really. So it's saying that this is very, very unequal, unequal but we have cavalry. I mean, they have their bodyguard. The Yadegi Marines are a very good unit as well. And there's no... Is there mercenaries available up here? There is. I might try and get those Rovanian Riders. If I cancel a building somewhere... Is there anywhere that we've built this turn? I don't believe so. Is there anywhere we've rec tried to recruit this turn as well? Apart from just the... Uh... Hmm. Oh, I'm not going to delete that. Is there any way we can get some extra cash? Where's our diplomat? Let's talk to them. Let's ask for some map information for some money. Hmm. Let's just... I just need 200, bro. 200 for my map information. Oh. Is there anyone else we could try and, you know, scam it off to who's nearby? wonder whether there's, like, any orcs of Gundabad. Oh, there is. Oh, no, there's Vale. And we can't actually talk to them this turn either. Um... Where can we scrap some money from? Can have a look in a couple of these settlements for something that we don't need, that we can destroy, that is there from, you know, like in, in Lest. Like the brothel, for example. Um, like the brothel. Uh, I think, yeah, let's have a look to see whether... We'll delete that. Gives us some extra cash. That's annoying. Uh... Yeah, and we'll get Rovanian Riders. Or will we? Or will we get Cell Swords? Let's get some Cell Swords. Cell Swords are so good. I know we're getting a lot of mercenary troops right now. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to really even it out in our favor. That is not a great army. 
And this one's quite good, though. Gimil Zagar. He's not the faction leader, so they do have quite a few faction members left. Um, so I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. Ideally, we don't want fourth win in the fight. So we'll use our other boys. Get these guys off their uh, stance. And then we've got a couple of cavalry units we'll use as well, which is going to be a huge, huge advantage to us. I'm not going to charge after them. I'll quite like them both to be in the battle so we can, you know, we know how many people we've got to kill so they don't escape to the uh, the other side to into the city. So we kill everyone, basically. So let's speed it up. Speed it up. As fast as possible. Get it going. Get it going. Let's go. Ah, oh, fantastic. That bodyguard's going to obviously be difficult. They're also going to be able to fire at us from quite far away. So, yeah, I just want to catch these guys. And we can catch them with the cavalry as well. Once these guys have got in the fight as well. Okay, they're not actually managing to fire at us. They can readjust their lines and we can come in. The Udegi Marines are a really good unit. So we've got to be we gotta be wary of them. So let's come forward. Slow it down again. Uh, and I think this time we will run forward. And uh, we don't need to run our cavalry just yet, but they can come across here. And fourth wind needs to stay close. So he runs as well. Speed it up. Come on, the boys. Let's go. <laughs> They've got so many missile troops. I am very wary of those um, art, uh, those units. Let's go for the Odegi Marines. Let's get them just going straight for the charge. I don't want to take... Um, I don't want to take fire for as long as possible. So now let's get our cavalry round. It's going to be quite brutal, I think, this battle, honestly. Now we're getting there. Get the Thorn Blaze. Guys, what are you doing? Come on, Cell Swords. You're so slow. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot the Marines. They fire like a... Uh, they fire that that stuff. What is this guy? Daratai Warriors. They're not very good. But let's get... I think we're going to have to get Fourth Win into this to try and fight some of these guys. Uh, and then let's get our Cell Swords up here. You guys get in. You guys get in there. And charge into the back of the Daratai Hunters. The Daratai Warriors are going to catch us, though. Bit annoying, but oh well. The Privateer Cavalry will do all the heavy lifting here. If you guys could get into the Daratai Warriors, that'd be great. Great, nice little charge there. Didn't kill quite as many as I wanted. But that's fine. We've got plenty of cavalry left. You guys get into those Daratai Warriors. Stop them running around. Uh, these guys, yeah, they've got their nice little formation. Good. And the cell swords should be able to just shred through everyone over here. Because they're just trash units. Let's go back into the Daratai Hunters. Oh, the Udegi Marines getting, their, getting those fires off is not good. Let's go for some leadership. Come on, boys. As soon as this flank folds... Oh, that's a great charge. That is a great, great charge. Uh, really, really good. And of course, remember, we want to kill as many as possible. So we'll probably send our Thorn Riders to just chase down anyone else and just use... There we are. And then we'll use the rest of them to uh, to keep fi keep fighting. You guys come that way. Uh, Privateer Cavalry. Let's bring you around this way. The Thorn Riders. Let's have a look. Where have they gone? Where are they? I cannot see them. Get in here. There's, six, there's literally one guy. <laughs> you guys get in the back of the Daratai Warriors. The Cell Swords, get in the Lokrim Bodyguard. You should do well against them. The Lokrim Bodyguard are so good, though. Oof, that Daratai Warriors is, is dead. Very, very dead. Get in there, fourth win. These guys are fighting to the death. We don't want that. Uh, what we should do is get you there. To get these guys in the back of the Balkov tribesmen. Come on. So how ca how powerful is cavalry? Jesus Christ. It is just so unbelievably good. We've just broken a two of them as well. This bodyguard's going to be a nightmare. 
charge in there, boys. Don't. That was rubbish. Get over there. Uh, you guys get into the Udegi Marines, and our cell swords can take the uh, the Lokrim bodyguard. Yeah, come out now, privateers. You guys chase those guys down. You guys go around here. Let's have a look. They're still fighting to the death. Oh, I love this tune. Absolute Med 2 classic. They've killed all those. Let's go for the Balkov tribesmen. Let's get our privateer cavalry up here. Oh, this was easier than I expected. Maybe I didn't need so many mercenaries. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Get the Thorn Bladesmen around here. They can, you know... Here come the here come the Thorn Guard. Not quite the charge that they wanted or needed, but it's fine. Now get out. Now the Privateer Cavalry can go into them. What I want to do is ideally get the Thorn Bladesmen around this side. You guys just stay there. It's fine. I, I, I don't need you. You're not needed. You're not needed, my friends. And we'll get our Cavalry here ready to charge into them. You guys go after the Balkov tribesmen. We've already killed 93%. It's just this bodyguard left now. So, go for them. Good charge. Let's get out. Come on, boys. Let's go. They're still eager. We're going to have to go around the far side, I think. So, let's get around there. Cell swords are, you know, getting shredded, which is good for us. Means our... Um, nope. Let's make sure we kill him. We need to need to chase him and, and capture him in order to take the city. There he is, running away. Go on, go on, man. What a beast. There he is. They are utterly vanquished. Exactly. We lost 374, though. So more brutal, but we killed a lot. We killed 1,100 and lost 374. That's pretty nice. Cavalry doing fantastically again. It's Thorn Guard, 129. Well done, boys. It was a bit harem scarum at the start, but after that, it was fine. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And, yeah, of course we're going to execute because that will allow us to take the city, hopefully. Yeah, that should be them both dead. Now, we do want some trash unit to uh, hold the fort here, but what we'll probably do... We'll occupy again. Unfortunately, oh, let's have a look at some of these. Again, the barracks. Dragon Wraith's guild. Dragon Wrath's guild. I think we'll keep that. Master Mason's Hall, always fantastic. Blacksmith as well, really good. And a way station, which is extra law. So we might as well, while we're here, get these guys retrained so they get some uh, armor upgrades. Although, it's going to take a while. So what we'll do instead is... We'll uh, combine you two. Uh, we won't leave this turn anyway, because you can see our guys can't move any much much further. And then let's retrain you, and you, and you. Uh, and we'll keep on going up to Rubar. Now, I think the battles for these towns will be a bit harder, because the rebels are actually, you know, they've got... Look at them, privateer axemen, so we might need to get a few more mercenaries, but... I just think the reason why we're going going like this, guys, and, and going so fast is there's no need to slow down. The re that's the reason why we're recruiting mercenaries. I know they're really expensive. Yes, my lord. But, yeah, we don't need to slow down, do we? There's no point slowing down, honestly. It just gives Rune more time to heal uh, and uh, replenish its men. While on here, let's uh, retrain at least one unit. And let's end the turn. Tarskarhum. There's Beralga. Looks like Dale's coming down to have a little pop. Nice. Well done, Dale. I mean, if Dale doesn't take this land, we'll take it. So I'm not too bothered either way, honestly. Not bothered one bit either way. So, fantastic. Oh, okay. Right, well... I think just before we finish, guys, let us fight this battle. And just, you know, it, it's it's very likely that we'll lose. But we might as well fight it and try and defend the city. And see how much damage, you know, we can do to them using the towers mainly. So I'll see you. Oh, we don't need to. We don't even need to load. Uh, to wait. So they're bringing. Uh, unfortunately, they're. Uh, 
They're bringing rams and ladders. So, stay down here. And hopefully that ram gets destroyed. The ladders will survive, though. And if the ladders survive and the ram is destroyed, what we'll do is we'll retreat to the city. Come on. Burn the ram. Burn the ram, boys. Burn the ram. So, until they attack us... What we'll do is we'll stay here as long as possible so that they get shot by the towers for as long as possible. And that'll do a little bit of damage to them. You can see 17% already. Now they're coming out. We'll uh, retreat to the town square and then we'll get killed. But it'll be a grind fest for the enemy, so... The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Let's go. I don't want to fight them here just because they might rout and that means that, that we lose, basically, as soon as they rout because they're the only unit. Oh, uh, well, you know, we've destroyed uh, Jarsur. We've done some really, really nice damage in this uh, in this episode. So losing Lest again is not too bad. And it's not such a hard settlement to take. So we'll just, you know, just try and, just try and fight, kill as many as possible. Doesn't look like it's going to make a difference. But that's our general dying. Ah, oh, no. Oh, our generals look really cool. I, I don't think I've shown you any of our non-custom generals. They they look really cool. Hello. 80 men. 80 men left. They're winded. The problem here is that they're fighting the uh, the bodyguard rather than the, uh, the hunters. And that's, yeah, just a bit of a problem. Uh, because killing the bodyguard isn't going to make a difference in the long run because it'll just replenish automatically. Whereas killing, uh, you know, the hunters, that's quite decent. Ah, uh, well, we've had another, we've had a defeat again. But oh well, that's fine. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. There we are. We have lost Lest. Oh no. They might destroy our standing stones as well, which would be a bit annoying. Um, but yeah. Oh, I don't know. It, it's not a problem, is it? We, we've been absolutely ruining Rune. Um, through this campaign so far, so <laughs> it's not a big setback. And we've got a general coming down, and he's going to have a couple of units to siege down Lest. So, bride presented, we'll accept because that'll allow us to have kids, and hopefully they'll come of age before the end of the uh, the campaign. We've got another new family member, nice, and we've got a marriage celebration in co in terms of our you know report. That's good. I'm going to get some vineyard bowmen as well, and some. Th Thorn Guard. And this will be a nice little stack. And that can either be added into this army once we've taken Lest back. Or, you know, maybe even come down here, depending on what's um, what's happening. I think we wait the siege here, because they might... Looks like they might actually attack us. Oh, wow! That's a big army, but it's so small. So they must have, like, no units left in there, which is great. Uh, right, Santanui, we've got them up there. Now, Elgair, I think we go, I think we, I don't think it matters about the rest of the armor. So let's get out of Elgair and let's go for, that's 16 men. Will they hold it? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> so, who else do we want to leave in there? Maybe the Thorn Bladesman. That doesn't leave us with, a, with an awful lot, does it? Well, I guess we'll have to stay in here. That might allow them to get a few more troops up in this region. Uh, but that's fine. We can send a few more troops up there if we want. Now, in terms of repairing, let's repair all the rest of this. Get that all repaired. Oh, not that. Get that all repaired. That's good. Um, and we're just going to wait that out. If they want to come out and attack us, that's fine. It's only one more turn. Taking that fort is not important to us, so it's really not going to make a difference. We'll come into Strondost with this guy. Send you guys into the... Uh, we'll send, actually, all three of you guys into the fort. So you get free upkeep for this turn. Santanui. Let's retrain as many of these boys as we can now, then. Which is all of them. Fantastic. And we really haven't done much building, but that is because we have been on such a rampage <laughs> militarily. That we've just not needed to, have we? We've really not needed to. So let's keep coming up through Mordor. There's a Kargukor. I think that's the last one before Baradur. Unless, no, there is actually one here, isn't it? So that's Seragos, that's Lithlad. 
And there's the steps of the Will Wayne Riders. They've still not taken Condovan and they've not taken Gazar Ibar, which is great for us. However, our other spy, oh, he's up here watching Burr Alga. Looks like Dale got beaten back. Let's have a look at Rawberg. It's down here, isn't it? It's still Rebel. That's great for us. I'm surprised Dale has moved so slowly because they have moved very slowly indeed. The Lord's Hall's nearly done. We've got to save up so that we've got enough money for our elven, uh, elven building. Does it tell us on here how expensive it actually is? Five thousand. Woo hoo! Spicy bit of cash. Uh, but anyway, let's end the turn, guys. Oh, that's our uh, diplomat. I completely keep forgetting to move him, but we don't need to scam people for uh, map information anymore. Um, which is great. I don't know, why have I ended the turn again? We've gone way over time. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Whoops, I should have ended the episode there. But anyway, you know, you get some extra time, guys, don't you? So it's all good for you. Now, Burr Emerikis is under attack. Oh, they didn't even uh, they didn't even come out. That's great for us. That's fantastic. Uh, and again, if Burr Emerikis falls, it's really not a problem. You know, if you're playing this mod and, you know, worrying about some of your settlement, your outer settlements that are providing you nothing being taken, just don't worry about it. This, it really, really doesn't matter. You know, Burr Emerikis is making us pretty much no money. It's got no garrison apart from two, like, levy troops or one, no, one thorn guard. So, yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to matter at all that we uh, are losing Burr Emerikis. Uh, Elgai is making a load of cash. Mistran's making none. <laughs> Probably because it doesn't have a port, but I'm going to save up for next turn still. Now, let's get these guys down to Lest. Get the ladders. And we're probably... It's an eight-turn siege. Which... We don't need to do, do we? If we get enough ladders, we really don't need to do that. Fourth win, Conqueror of Mistrans and Architect now, which is great. Uh, yeah, Strondos we rec uh, recruited a bit. And then Santan we, uh, we retrained the boys... So, yeah, good. We can now send these guys all back to fight apart from the... We'll leave the Avari over here. What we might do is get them in that uh, fort up there so they get free upkeep until we can retrain them. The rest of these boys are going to come down to uh, Norway, who is now, like, surrounded. We could go for the draw-out battle. It just feels a bit of a waste if it doesn't if it doesn't uh, it doesn't come off. But oh well, it'll be fine. Bring you down here. Yeah, there's Rawberg. So I think we've seen all of the regions around this 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 way now. So let's come over here. Keep having a look down here. We'll keep on coming. Okay, I guess there isn't another one. That must be the other one now in version five. Remember, this is my first time playing a full campaign in version 5, guys. So I don't know exactly where everything is. Um, in terms of building, we're going to save the money, aren't we? So let's do that. Naburka, are you on normal tax rate? Let's get you on low so you're growing a little bit faster. <laughs> and also, we could do with uh, Karasant uh, coming down. But it's still improving. I don't think we're going to get up to 9,000 anytime soon. We'll actually get... Oh, no, Mornithel doesn't need to be on low because it's a large city already. Hmm, that's going to be a bit of a tough one with only wooden walls. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter if they take it. It's fine. Right, guys, well, we're going to end the episode here, finally, over time. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.